Okay, so take a look at this problem here. I'm going to go through this whole thing. So we have z is negative 3. I'm going to sketch it on the argan diagram. So z is simply this here. Here is z, and here is w. And w is 1 and root 3i. Okay, and so we want to show that z times w is this. So, well, that's easy enough to do because I'm going to go... Oh, I'm going to go negative 3 times 1 plus i root 3, and it is simply negative 3 minus 3i root 3. And then it says state the two geometric effects on of multiplying z by w. So here is z, and what's the effect of w? Well, in order to do so, I'm going to convert them both to uh, mo uh, argu modulus argument form. So w, I know this one here, my r value is going to be 2 when I take th root 3 squared, and the theta, tangent theta, is root 3 over 1, and so theta is pi by 3, which we know is 60 degrees. And so this is 2 cis pi by 3. If I convert z to modulus argument, I know it's going to be 3 cis, well, this angle here is pi, and so I end up with cis pi. And if I then consider what is zw, well, zw, if I convert it, is going to, zw is going to be, well, I can just look at these forms here, and I know that the same as that is going to be 6 cis, and I add those two together, and that's going to be 4 pi by 3. And recognize it's 60 degrees and 180, and so it's 240 degrees. And so what are the two geometric effects of multiplying z by w? Well, I'm multiplying z, so it's going to be a scale enlarged by a scale factor of 2, of 2, enlarged, enlarge, enlarge, and it's going to be rotated counterclockwise by pi by 3. And so I end up with negative 3, negative 3 root 3. It's going to end up being probably a value right here. Oh, let me tidy this up a little bit. Okay, so it's going to get a value that ends up being right here. And recognizing this is pi by 3, as is this is pi by 3. So this actually is a straight line. And this is zw. Okay, jump in here to d part. Now, I want to find matrix A. And I have to recognize that negative 3, 0 is the same as the point z. And this point here is the same as zw. And so it's really, A is just going to be the transformation matrix that multiplies. So A is going to be the scale enlargement by 2 times the sine. Oh, I have to do it the right. If I looked at my formula booklet, I would see that it is cosine pi by 3. I think it's minus sine pi by 3, sine pi by 3, and cosine pi by 3. And if I multiply it out, that will be matrix A. And then finally, we're told that ZW and ZW form vertices of a triangle calculate the area. Well, this one actually made me pause and think again, because I made this last year and I'm doing the video here. What I have to recognize is that this here is a straight line because it's pi by 3 and it's pi by 3. And here, this one here is also straight down. And I know this. So I know that this distance here, I know this point is over 3 and down 3 root 3. I also know that this distance here is going to be, this is going to be 2, and I know that from the complex number w. And then I also know then that this part down here is going to be a distance of 6 from the other complex number as well, from the product of the two. And so my distance here overall is 8. From my trigonometry, I know that's 90 degrees. And if this angle is 60 degrees, that means this angle down here is 30 degrees. And so I'm welcome to then 
to find my area, I'm going to use half AB sine C to area. So it's half A is going to be 8, B is going to be 3 root 3 sine of 30 degrees. And because it's the side, the side and the angle included is how that formula works. And so when I multiply that out, that becomes 4 times 3 root 3 times the sine of 30 is going to be root through uh, 1 half. And so then if I get that cancels here, I end up with 6 root 3 units squared.